I worked in Montgomery County, um, the public library system in Maryland, and we went from a card catalog to a book catalog to microfiche, and then to uh, an online catalog. For the average user, card catalogs could be a little bit intimidating. I did my undergraduate work at the University of Georgia, which has a massive library and had a massive card catalog. I wasn't aware that there was a separate subject card catalog from the author title card catalog. Um, it took me a couple of semesters to really figure out how to finesse that and find the things that I was looking for. People were originally doing, having to check, as I said, all of these uh, cards that were coming in from the Library of Congress and so forth, um, and then doing some uh, original cataloging as well. Uh, so there was a professional library staff that, that you know, devoted to working on that. Very labor intensive. It was what you grew up with and it was what you knew, so you didn't even think that there was going to be this even easier, better way. I know when I was working at the Library of Virginia um, in the prints and photographs collection, you know, in those years I was there pretty much, you know, late 1980s, and people would pay researchers to physically go to different collections and, you know, look at what was in their archives and their historical collections to get images or broadsides or prints. Um, they would call up and, you know, we'd do the research for them many times and then you would fax them the images to select from. I worked in Prince George's County for several years. That was totally card catalog. Montgomery County was a card catalog until, or book catalog or fiche catalog until I would say the early 80s. And, and that's when library systems in the Washington metro area were transitioning to online systems. Each one of those transitions was very difficult from the uh, card catalog through the microfilm, through the microfiche to the digital. It's very difficult uh, not only for the patrons but for the staff uh, because it's a change in, in process and so forth. Uh, it really was hard for folks uh, way back uh, to uh, give up that card catalog and uh, there are still a few small libraries in the country that actually still have a card catalog. When we went through the transition from card catalog to digital catalog or online catalog, a lot of people were really afraid that they were going to lose their jobs. Um, what it turned out to be is that we needed people who could combine the skills of a good cataloger, which means you can look at something and figure out where it fits in the overall scheme of knowledge and fit it into the right place. But we also needed people who were really comfortable in working with automated systems. The first transition actually when I was in Montgomery County was probably um, pretty painful for the staff as well as for the public because back then most people did not know how to use computers and computers um, were really tough uh, for some people to learn how to use both staff and public. It's a wonderful resource but digitization does you know does take staff and funds and time so um, you know, all of these projects, you want to have that capability and have them done, but I also need staffing and funding to get those done. When we got into the digital uh, realm, then uh, a lot of work at the beginning to get all of those records from for a particular library into, uh, the, uh, into the digital format. Uh, but at the same time, this was also being done nationally and internationally, and so there were corp uh, companies uh, OCLC being the major one, uh, that uh, would provide uh, these uh, digital records, cataloging records, online. Uh, so there was a lot less um, work in terms of cataloging uh, that needed to be done. But once they're digital, you can you know, have access anytime you want. You can also search that by keyword, which is going to be a lot more accurate than you know what somebody was trying to do reading through the paper and pull out all those individual subjects. There were people who said when the catalog, when we went to the online catalog, they lost the serendipity of flipping through the cards and suddenly you find that wonderful thing you never even knew you wanted. 
I think you did much more browsing. You know, the, as a student, you would get that subject area, and then you go up in the stacks. And I can recall browsing a lot more than I do now. Each one of those transitions was very difficult, from the uh, card catalog through the microfilm, through the microfiche to the digital. It's very difficult, uh, not only for the patrons but for the staff, uh, because it's a change in, in process and so forth. Uh, it really was hard for folks uh, way back uh, to. Uh, give up that card catalog and uh, there are still a few small libraries in the country that actually still have a card catalog uh, at least for portions of their collection. Card catalogs were really set up for finding things you already knew existed. Um, I think as we've seen online systems evolve we're better at helping people discover things they didn't know by doing things like um, saying you typed in this search term, why don't you try this other search term, an alternative search term, that might get you there. Um, and we can do that now with hyperlinks instead of C references in the catalog where you, you know, if it says, if you're under capital punishment and it says C death penalty, you have to go all the way over to the D's and instead of being able to click on a new have subject having have something come up. Card catalogs were actually pretty awesome in their way, in their day, uh, but I don't think anything replaces a computer system, however frustrating they can be sometimes. Like all computers, all computer systems, they can be very frustrating, but when they work well, they work very well. Thank you.